Hey guys, MLB. And this literally took me like, I don't know, 15 seconds. And it's not even correct. So, <laughs> we're gonna try that again. Because it looked correct to me, but it, it took me 15 seconds to get an incorrect solution that looked correct. We isolate these whites. Oh, it's because of the blacks that I didn't isolate properly. Right, right, right. Okay then, hmm... No, that's not gonna work. Let's try isolating these whites again. So those are isolated. And then what we, we really would like to do is isolate the other whites. The easiest... Well, we want to isolate them from the black. Like this, maybe? Okay, now we're making progress. Uh, actually we want to do like this. For this guy. Oh no, but... Hmm... Oh right, I did it this way. That's right. Then... One, two, three, four... And then this guy like this... And then this guy like this... Okay... Yeah, that's it. Awesome. What did that do for me? Um... That brings our total up to 294 solved. Plus 26. Uh... <laughs> I don't know what that did for us, though. That was a cool puzzle, but, I mean... Huh. Oh, we can access the ship from here. I never did go up those stairs there. Let's- let's try that now. Wait, is there anything up here that... <laughs> Awesome! They all have things in the way, though. Oh no, I can't do it... ...except on the paths that I've traced. Oh, I bet I have to reset the puzzles... ...and trace an incorrect path just so that I can draw on it. Mmm... What happens if I just do it this one? Well, there's one! Can't do the others, though, because the others have all got stuff in the way. But I bet if I just trace an incorrect path, it'll let me draw on it. Okay, that's something to look into, so that brings our total up to plus 27. Anyway, let's go check out the ship first. I wanna... I wanna look at that, and then we'll consider resetting these guys. That f USB flash drive was around here, if I'm alright, yeah. Okay, so they turn black when they're not active. I mean, when- when you've already got- gotten them. Obtained them. Let's see, what can we do up here? Maybe we can do one of these from up here, I don't know. No, it doesn't look like it. Will it even let us start it? No, but it, it tells us that it's something that we could potentially do. Oh, we could start it, but yeah, we're not high up enough. And I don't think there's any way to get higher. That's interesting, we can walk on this. Is there a door down there? Holy crap, I don't think I've ever seen that. Maybe I have, but I just forgot. Oh, I haven't seen that! 
That's new to me, I didn't know I could walk through that. Okay. Well. Ooh. Doesn't this look like I should be able to draw somewhere? Hmm. Okay then, let's go check out the boat. The ship, sorry. The boat's what we use to fast travel, the ship is something completely different. Oh my gosh, with the mazes up there, if it lets us draw on invalid paths, that makes so many different solutions. That looks like... That looks like if we see it from the right angle, we could draw on it. Mmm, I wonder if we have to do that one from the boat. Yeah, unless I can go over here and do something. What's with these crates? There's a sofa here. Yeah, I think that one has to be done from the boat. And we are pretty far away from the boat right now. But I'll remember it, hopefully. Yeah, and there's the, uh, the treehouse area. I kept calling this a swamp by accident when I was talking to my friend. And the swamp is actually the place where you learn about Tetris pieces. And, uh, there was some confusion to be had there. Interesting. Wow, you wouldn't be th you wouldn't think you'd be able to walk on any of this, but clearly you can. That looks like a path almost, doesn't it? This looks like it could be a starting point, but where would you get a high enough vantage point to even do that? Yeah, that looks like a starting point. Oh, it is! Where would you stand? I won't stand for this, he says. Right in the center, maybe? Ah, yes, right in the center. Awesome! Right in the center. That's actually really cool. I like that. Man, this is one wrecked ship. Man, this game is still pretty looking. Taking us quite a while to get all the way out here. Ooh, this looks like another one we can do from the boat. Oh, there's stairs there, and inside here? Oh goodness. There's a lot of places to go. Man, I thought that was music starting to play, but... Hey, look at this! A ship owner was about to send to sea an emigrant ship. He knew that she was old and not well built at the first, that she had seen many seas and climbs, and often had needed repairs. Doubts had been suggested to him that possibly she was not seaworthy. These doubts preyed upon his mind and made him unhappy. He thought that perhaps he ought to have her thoroughly overhauled and refitted, even though this should put him at great expense. Before the ship sailed, however, he succeeded in overcoming these melancholy reflections. He said to himself that she had gone safely through so many voyages and weathered so many storms that it was idle to suppose she would not come safely home from this trip also. He would put his trust in Providence, which could hardly fail to protect all these unhappy families that were leaving their fatherland to seek for better times elsewhere. He would dismiss from his mind all ungenerous suspicions about the honesty of builders and contractors. In such ways, he acquired a sincere and comfortable conviction that his vessel was thoroughly safe and seaworthy. He watched her departure with a light heart and benevolent wishes for the success of the exiles in their strange new home that was to be. And he got his insurance money when she went down in mid-ocean.
and told no tales. What shall we say of him? Surely this, that he was verily guilty of the death of those families. It is admitted that he did sincerely believe in the soundness of his ship, but the sincerity of his conviction can in no wise help him, because he had no right to believe on such evidence as was before him. He had acquired his belief not by honestly earning it in patient investigation, but by stifling his doubts. And although in the end he may have felt so sure about it that he could not think otherwise, yet inasmuch as he had knowingly and willingly worked himself into that frame of mind, he must be held responsible for it. William K. Clifford, 1874. Wow. That was a cool one that I just did, that, that puzzle up there. That brings us up to... plus 31. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I knew there were puzzles in the ship. I kept telling it, and you guys didn't believe me, but... I knew it. Wait. Why are they different sizes? Look, this is a different size from this. These two are the same size, but this one's slightly different. Look, this- they're different sizes! What? Is this a symmetry puzzle? Ah, uh, it's an invisible symmetry puzzle. Okay, so... Go here first. And then... You can go... Here. I'm tracing it with my finger for the other color. And here... And here... Ah, oh, but no, that means they touch. Okay, let's start over. Get this guy, right? Then... We go here... That is one creepy sound. <laughs> what if I have to start- I might have to start from the other side, but I- no, I can't start from the other side. Well, which one am I getting, actually? Because there's definitely two exits. Yeah, yeah, it's an invisible symmetry puzzle. Ugh, I don't like these. I think we have to start from up here. Don't even know what color we're getting, though. What if we're- what if we're this color? Does it even matter? Does- maybe- maybe it doesn't matter which color we think we are. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah. Okay, let's pretend we're this color. That gets us here on the orange. You can't see my finger, but whenever I say here, that's me moving my finger. Then here... Tricky. If I do it this way, where does that put me? Here, which means I can do this, and that gets me the big orange one. Then if I go over here, all the way over. I get this guy, then that. 
What? Okay, so that looked like... That looked like this, right? I just have to mirror it then. So let me take a picture with my phone and mirror it. Or rotate it at the very least. Uh, yeah, it's rotated, not mirrored. Sorry. Okay. Come on. Let me see the picture I just took. And we want to... Oh, I can't do that. Here. I have to unlock my phone first. Go to the gallery. And... Come on. Let me out. And let me rotate this a couple times. Rotate right. Rotate right. There we go. Okay, so now, I use this as a reference. Yes, phone, I know how to exit full screen. Okay, so we go like this. Three down. We'll go all the way over here, like that. What? I don't understand why that doesn't work. Because I've done it both ways now, and it- and it works. He gets all the pinks. Yeah, there's... That's- that's- should work. It gets the oranges, and one black, and it gets the pinks, and one black. Why doesn't it like that? Is it possible to go down at all? Nope. That's water. I am actually very confused. I've done this both ways, and it works... both ways. Yeah, it works this way and that way. Do I have- I don't- surely I don't have to get all the pieces with symmetry involved. That would be impossible. I don't think it would be possible to get all the pieces with symmetry involved. We can certainly try. Nope, there's... It's there and there, yeah. How do we know what color we are? Yeah, it's not... not really feasible to do it like that. We can get there, but then that leaves us with complications further down the line. Maybe we just need to get one color and get out? Maybe we just need the black ones? No. <laughs> Maybe the size matters. Why... Why are they different sizes? That's a question that I have to ask. Why are they different sizes? 
Okay, well, we're just gonna have to remember that this is here, because I don't know how to deal with this right now. I'm pretty sure size matters, but I don't know how it matters, and I don't even know where this is- I don't even know where a tutorial is that could teach us about that. Next episode, we'll try the ones that we can get from the boat. Or the mazes. Might try the mazes. Uh, how do we get out of here? <laughs> Oh, I went up too high. Whoops. Come on, come on, let me out. Yeah, this is how we get out of here. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next episode where we will, uh, do either the maze puzzles or the boat puzzles. I'm not sure which, I haven't decided yet. Thanks for watching!